the door. My key isn't working. What? My key doesn't work. Oh. Are you all right? Good as can be expected. You going to let me in? Change the lock? Why? I was expecting burglars. What happened to you? <coughs> happened? I was worried about you. Well, you. I didn't say I'd say I'd be there for sure. I said I'd try. I know, but still, I was hoping. I guess you weren't going up to it. You could say that. I brought you something. Oh? Cottage cheese. You said you had a craving for cottage cheese. What size card did you get? What? The card! The card. What size card did you get? Large. I prefer small. <laughs> of course, I forgot. I'll return it. No, no. Don't, don't, don't bother. What was that going to do? Was that going to go down and see if... No, no. The Korean market's still open. No, never mind. Are you sure? I'm uh, too sick to my stomach anyway. I can't keep a damn thing down. If I don't eat it, Monica will. Monica? My visiting nurse. I thought her name was Beverly. Beverly? That was ages ago. Sorry, I lost track. What happened to Beverly? Irreconcilable differences. Now I've got my Monica, who doesn't do housework. <laughs> A big, beautiful woman uh, from St. Kitts with a bubbly, melodic voice. She, she calls me Mommy. Uh, are you hungry, Mommy? Uh, yeah, are you cold, Mommy? So I hated it at first. But then I started to like it. You know, nobody's ever called me Mommy before. I don't see you anymore. I was here last week. No, not last week. It couldn't have been last week. For me, it was ten days ago. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's been weeks. Monica has been coming for weeks. Has it really been that long? Yes. I'm sorry, I've been busy. The book. Oh, yes. <clears throat> the book. It's a lovely dress you have on. Thank you. It looks expensive. It was. Is that what you want to like? Uh huh. I want to look serious, but sexy. Too much? 92nd Street, why? <laughs> How did it go? Actually, it went fine. It was fun. <coughs> Good. There are a couple of candy wrapper cricklers I wanted to kill, but aside from that... Mommy. <laughs> you know, I should have had children of my own. It was my own damn fault that it's too picky. <laughs> I could never find a man I could see myself having a child with. Nowadays, the choice of a partner is totally, totally irrelevant. Things were different when I was ovulating. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have just gone out and gotten pregnant with, with the next man who came into my life, you know, snared him for a sperm, <laughs> and had a child of my own. It would have been good for me, I think, having a child. Yeah? But uh, instead, I spent many years. Too so many years nurturing other people's children. The first, the first day of every class, the, the 32 years, 32 first days, I would scan the faces and see who out there would, would, would dazzle me, you know, who, who would thrill me and astonish me with their promise. I, I have a succession of chosen daughters over the years, mostly daughters, a few sons. Unformed and talented and susceptible to my wisdom. As I was today, Ruth. Mom. I love. <coughs> Not just you. Mm -hmm. 
veggie book. Yes, I figured. Lisa, if you'd only asked me what I thought, if you'd only asked my advice, I would have told you you were making a, a mistake. I didn't know what to do. I, I didn't know how to handle it. Stay away from Schwartz! He's mine, not yours. Besides, he's been done to death. Picked up by so many vultures in, in the name of literature and then bellow or finish them off for everyone. You don't need ask me. You don't need ask my advice. I, I would have told you to, to look elsewhere. Leave them alone. Leave them out of it. They'll only compare you to bellow. Does it work? You simply can't support it, darling. You can't. You're not good enough. Why call attention to it? Don't be asking. She didn't. Instead, you skulked like a thief. Avoided me for two and a half years. No, I didn't. You evaded my questions. Huh? Wouldn't look at me in the eye. Mm -hmm. You, you took my time. I knew something was up. Even, even when, when you did come over, you wouldn't look at me in the eye. I thought it was my appearance that maybe I was looking so awful you couldn't look at me. No. your friendship. Hmm? But instead, you were too busy going through my panty drawer, scavenging. But that's not what I did. No? Then why did you skulk, huh? Well, 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 why couldn't you look at me? I don't know. I needed some distance. Distance? I needed to separate myself from you. That you did, my darling, that you did. You wouldn't know what it's like to have to get out from under you. You couldn't possibly know what that's like. Everything I told you, everything I shared. It was, it was just material to you. That's all it was. True. The people was regaling you with, with stories from my, my life and, and, and like a pitiful old woman who made me out to be. And all the while, you were taking notes. It's not true. I was listening. I was cherishing every moment. Yeah, sure. If I had told you and you had disapproved, you would have murdered me. If you had disapproved, I don't know what I would have done. I never could have written it. How could I have written it? I might have lost you, and I would have lost my novel, too. I was scared. <coughs> Poor thing. I didn't know what to do. You were the one person who could advise me, but I could discuss it with you. Well, clearly, you listened. You listened all right. You took it all in, and then you put it out for the world to see. What, what did I do that any other good writer wouldn't have done? That you yourself wouldn't have done? A story grabbed me and wouldn't let go. It didn't grab you. Hmm? You, you, you snatched it. Huh? It, it didn't snatch you. Hmm? Have you no conscience? Have you no moral conscience? No conscience. Oh, do you? Do you? But you went and did it anyway. That's what's so remarkable. You did it anyway. What did you teach me? You taught me to be ruthless. So to speak. The thing catches your eye. You told me to grab it. Remember that, Ruth? That's what you taught me. Don't worry about feelings. Worry about feelings is sentimental, and God knows we must be sentimental. We've crossed the line, sweet. We've crossed the line. Why? Because it involves you? Though I think that had something to do with it, yes. Now, I was a fellow writer telling you these stories, not, not a longshoreman or a waitress, for God's sake. A fellow writer. I, I, it's a matter of professional courtesy, I would think. What was I supposed to do? Proclaim the off limits? Plant a flag? I guess you decide something? You were my friend, God damn it! You would have used the past tense. Once upon a time, authors made things up. You know. Can you imagine? Come on. You use people all the time. Don't give me that shit. Whatever you get your hands on, you took. No, if I, if I used people for my stories, it was because they had no voice. They had no outlet. Well, there you go. We all play God, don't we? We all put words in the people's mouths. You taught me that, Ruth. If you did it, something else. It's something else. I have a voice. I have the tools. Huh? Use your own goddamn life. If it's not good enough, too bad. But don't thumb a ride and, and hop a board for us. Hey, Chica! You make me sound like the most mercenary person imaginable. The last thing I wanted to do was to hurt you. I wanted to honor you. It was my gift to you. Gift? Yes. I was honoring you for all that you've given me. Well, I don't want you to. How do you like that? No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not very gracious of me, I know, but uh, no gift. It doesn't bother me. 
I bought a receipt so that I can exchange it. Hmm. Oh, 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 but you're telling me there is no receipt. It's either take it or leave it. What exactly is so offensive to you? I don't understand it. Don't? No. You've, you've stolen my stories, Lisa. My stories. What am, what am I without my stories? I'm nothing. I'm a cipher. I'm as good as dead. They aren't your stories. Not anymore. They stopped being your stories when you yeah. told them to me. They changed my life, so how can they solely be yours anymore? You don't own them. No. No. I couldn't tell your stories, Ruth. Not the way you could. My book doesn't pretend to be the truth. But Miriam isn't you. Yeah. She isn't. Yeah, I'll give you that blind bubble of believe me, I've heard it. I've used it. All right. She's as much you as she is me. What, the lonely, pitiful woman pining away for telling me? No, you it's the young, impressionable disciple who wants nothing more than the high regard of her mentor. That, that's what you were trying to do? Yes. Well, you failed miserably because I didn't see it. That's because you don't want to see it. You totally willfully misread her. Miriam isn't pitiful. She's, she's vital, funny, self-ironical. She sees the affair for what it truly was in ways you obviously cannot. What is that supposed to mean? You're the one who calls it the defining moment of your life, for Christ's sake, Ruth. That's what you told me. You were like, like some masochistic badge of honor. What the hell is you? You let that one group affair define your entire life. That's not true. It's a You're a professional war winner or Miss Haddish on your wedding dress. That's not who I am. That's insulting. I'm sorry. I'm hoping that you accept a love affair. But you've taken my entire the year, and you've you passed it off as your own. What? What, to Jewish intellectual life? Oh, no. The elbow is one thing, but to take on territory that's so identifiably mine. How is it yours? Do you dig the entire spectrum of Jewish experience? Exclusive rights? Look at my work. Hmm? My, my entire body of work, you know, it backwards and forwards for Christ's sake. Even where I point to departure, like any inspiration. You know, is my voice, damn it. What you've done is mimicry. It, it's not odd. It, it's not homage. It's 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 it's, it's, it's parody. Come on, Ruth. You're not being fair. You're contradicting everything you ever taught me about writing. And 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 what do you know about fair? Huh? The things that you have been saying. And not doing. Do. Miriam, I'm being disingenuous so that I Of course, it's me. Everybody knows it's me. So it might as well be me. And everybody knows you're my protege. So? So? You're, you're pandering to the public like some terrible rag. You know how it is you're reading the book. You know, all the while you're guessing, you're, you know, smacking your lips and you're So what? So what if you do? Well, it's my life, damn it. You've appropriated my life. Maybe you thought it was up for grabs, huh? No, no, no. Maybe you thought oh, I was fair game. No. <coughs> Maybe you thought I'd be dead by now. Can you see this? I was so shocked, my darling. I'm sure it occurred to you. It would have occurred to me. You've taken my life and you've turned it into pulp. Who do you call it pulp? Oh, Lisa. Lisa, for God's sake, and those sex scenes did not teach you anything. What did I tell you about sex scenes? They, they always read like automotive mechanics. Hmm? The, the, the scene in the stairwell, or all the huffing and puffing, the, 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 the creaking of the stairs, the fire and the Forget it. Yes. His, his wet wool coat uh, smothered her. His bear-like hugeness pressing into her. <laughs> he was impotent, darling. The great love of my life. Your romantic hero. <laughs> My book is fiction. Your book is shit. You know what I would do if I were you? I would admit my failure, take my loss, and chalk it up to the experience. But if you don't, I'm going to do everything I can to stop it. How do you mean stop it? Stop it. Stop it. I've, I've already spoken to my lawyer. You what? No, I have. I talked to him today. I've done nothing wrong, nothing illegal. You have no legal grounds. No, but I have moral grounds. Hmm? And I have friends. And I'm going to make a really big stink. You 
only get the opposite result. People will want to read the book, and know what you have accomplished. You're not getting away with this. People have to know that I was loved. You're going to get that kind of publicity. You're going to be humiliated. A great teacher suppressing your student, the champion of free speech. I hate to think of you degrading yourself like that. What have you done to me, huh? What have you done? You wanted me to write about you, didn't you? What? Don't talk about it. Write it. Remember that verse? Those are the first lessons you ever taught me. You're not going to throw that. Telling a story takes me the need to write. It relieves the pressure. And you believe that shit? Of course I believe you taught it to me. Maybe you told me this at work. I knew by the way you told me, by the language you used, it had written in your head long ago. When you said it out loud that day, I knew, I could tell you were giving it to me. Did you? you wanted me to use him. It's the worst argument for theft I've ever heard. I'm not saying it was conscious. But face it, Ruth. You are never going to write this one. What? Excuse me. How do you know that? I'm sorry, but it's true. How do you, how do you know that I haven't already written it? The defendant, no, how do you know? The man is here. Now, the man is here. How do you know I haven't already written it? No. Is it because I haven't, haven't run to the publisher with it? I, I, you know. Please. I know this has been a rough time for you. I know that, and it pains me. It does. I'm sorry you haven't been feeling well. I feel fine. What I mean is, I think it's a disease talking, Ruth. It's not you. <clears throat> See, it's hard you're thinking. I'm not the enemy, Ruth. I love you. You love me? Yes. Tell me. What did you think my reaction would be? Hmm? Silence? Yeah. Approval? I thought you might feel pride, satisfaction. Satisfaction? For having been a good teacher. Oh.